Welcome to a brand new episode of TechCast. I'm going to be showing you the brand new LG K990, otherwise known as the LG Beauty. As you can see from the front fascia, there is no buttons on the front. So no keypad, no QWERTY uh, keyboards or anything like that, everything is on the screen. It's a 3 inch touchscreen display with a 240 by 400 resolution. 262,000 colour support on the actual display itself and it is fully touchscreen. There's only three buttons on the front and uh, that's the power button or the, the call button and the cancel button as well. On the side you've got access to the camera functionality with a 5 megapixel camera built in. It's a 3G handset with full internet browsing and video streaming. Jog dial on the back for quick access to volume and zoom functionality and on the internal you can get uh, micro SD support for up to 2 gigs. What I'm going to talk about first is the uh, free application support. Uh, 3 as in the, the 3G network that is available in the UK and Europe. You have access to Windows Live Messenger, Skype, eBay and Facebook and that's uh, from the actual main menu. You have the 3 launcher which gives you access to the various applications that 3 allow you access to. So things like Skype are on there, Facebook, YouTube, um, Yahoo Search and Google Search. So all the usual content that a lot of people find or find they're using these days on the internet is available directly from this handset which makes access to the mobile internet much more appealing. The design, okay, so you've got an aluminium cover on the back, very robust, very good quality. On the back you also find that it looks very similar to a normal camera. And you also even have camera functionality, the controls on the top are very similar to a camera. You've got Xenon flash as well, again, something you find in a proper camera, or even some cameras that even have that. Slider for access to camera functionality, so video uh, recording capabilities, um, photographic cap capabilities, and then obviously the playback button, image stabilization button, as well as the lock button and the shutter key. Only weighs 112 grams. The th 3 inch screen, as I said, is a 240 by 400 resolution with support up to 262,000 colors. Only three simple buttons in the front, everything else is done via the touch screen. You have a camera on the front for 3G video calling for anyone else that, that you know that has a, a 3G handset. So uh, yeah, very simple, very slim design, fits in the pocket quite nicely and uh, quite a robust design, it doesn't creak or, or flex in your hands. Now the actual keys are very uh, responsive so there's no not much of a delay when you're actually pushing the button. Now, everything is done via the on-screen display so very similar to what you've seen perhaps on the iPhone and uh, obviously there are some design cues that are taken from the iPhone but yeah very quick and very simple access to the dialing functionality so um, we've got here a blank screen it is actually switched on um, but to save power it actually doesn't display anything on the screen whilst it's not being used if you hit the actual key on the side it will actually activate the screen gives you the time and date information, hit it again and it actually unlocks the screen itself. <laughs> I'm going to run you through the actual keypad because that's going to be definitely a concern for a lot of you out there who are considering buying this handset or any any um, full screen touch screen device. So as uh, I said you get the keypad functionality so just like you would do on a normal handset you've got T9 text so it has predictive text and again you can have the Boy, uh, the vibrating feedback whilst you hit each key, so whilst you don't get the tactile feedback from a real button you do actually get a vibrating feedback from that. So you can get the uh, normal 1 to 9 number keys or you can have a full QWERTY keyboard. As you can see there, full QWERTY keyboard, caps lock, QWERTY and it looks relatively straightforward to operate, the keys are nicely spaced out but they are a lot smaller than they are when using the normal uh, numbered keypad to type in using the T9 text. So that does represent a few issues in terms of accuracy. You have to be relatively accurate in hitting each key. So I just go and do... See I was aiming for D then and it actually went for F and S instead. So if I want to type... If I want... Oops... Speed-wise, once you get used to the actual keypad itself, you can pick up some good speed. So I still think I can 
probably type quicker than using a, an actual physical keyboard or keypad and using T9 predictive text, but uh, this is an actually quite good alternative. Next I'm going to show you the web browsing capability, so I'm just going to access the menu, hit the browser, and let's go to home. You'll be able to see the free home page. So that's loaded up pretty quick, it uses a 3G um, connection, so you get pretty good transfer rates. You can scroll through just by flicking your finger. There is no other way of really moving about because there's no physical up and down buttons that you can use. You can get the overview um, of the actual web page and just uh, there is a red box which highlights the area that you can see or which will fit on the screen. So you can slide it up and down and then hit it again to uh, actually go to that particular area of the screen. If I hit that button there it goes to uh, landscape view so for viewing full web pages this obviously is being formatted for the uh, screen resolution of the view T. We've got um, the camera. Okay, so let's have a look at the camera. Very simple, one touch access. You hit the button on the side and it loads up the camera. You've got 5 megapixel resolution on this. It's uh, ISO 800 support, so low light uh, photo photographing. Now, the video capability is also quite impressive with the ability to shoot 120 frames per second. That's better than the camera that I'm using right now, which only supports up to 30 frames per second. Now, what that means is you can do very um, good slow motion playback um, from high action quick shot scenes, so a sports uh, shot for example, you make use of something like that. Um, takes up the full 3 inch screen when you're doing the videos and the, the photographs. Simply use the slider on the top to select the photo or video playback mode, uh, or photo, photo mode. You have quick access to photographs, let me just load one up. And you can zoom using the jog dial on the back near the lens, which is quite uh, handy and effective. You can also use that to zoom in on pictures. It also doubles up as the volume key. And uh, when you're actually in the photo mode, you can actually just slide around using your finger and just drag the picture around, as well as zoom in and zoom out. So it's quite handy and effective in the way it handles the use of pictures just zoom back out. Now you have the facility to edit your pictures so you can put text over it, you can crop bits out, you can put different effects on it, um, you can put a frame over it um, and uh, yeah you can resize the images and obviously send them on to your friends and family or, or email or attach them to an email. So that's quite handy to have. Uh, but yeah the most impressive feature is the Xenon flash. You've got 5 megapixel resolution on there. You've got a Schneider Kreuznach lens, so a good quality lens from that. Auto and manual focus, which is odd for a phone camera. ISO 800 and an image stabilizer, which is quite impressive. So you've got pretty much a fully featured camera built into this handset. And uh, this is something that the iPhone doesn't have. It doesn't have the high quality camera and video um, recording facilities that this LG VT has. So that's quite impressive from LG in that they've been able to bundle that straight in there. So let's recap, we've got a 3G 3 inch widescreen touchscreen display, 5 megapixel camera with uh, image stabilization and ISO 800 support for low light capability. You've got a jog dial for support um, for zooming and volume controls. It's fully touchscreen, on screen keypad, on screen dialing pad, full front uh, video capability so you can do 3G calling, headphone support, Bluetooth 2.0 built in and uh, that's the LG Beauty. Go check out the full review at techcastnetwork.co.uk make sure you have a look at the pictures and uh, this is definitely worth considering if you're looking for a touchscreen enabled device with a decent camera.